Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist, and what I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. In my time in tree care, I've realized that it's really difficult for people who want to learn how to climb trees to learn. <clears throat> Not everybody has someone there to train them so they can get into a tree. So what the plan today is, we're going to work on a road map, if you will, of the different steps that are required in order to get from the ground and into the tree. Not necessarily a how-to, but more of all the things that you need to know in order to get into the tree. All right, let's get to it. Before we start the video, I wanted to mention that we have videos on every single topic that we're going to speak about. It'll be linked on this description below. With that, let's get to the first subject. The first thing you should understand is tree inspection. You might wonder why tree inspection. Really, before you even think about getting in a tree, you want to make sure whatever you're going to climb is safe. That's one of the beginning things that you ought to understand. Before you even think about getting into the tree, understand how to inspect and when it's safe for you to climb. That's a real important step to understand. The second subject is gear. Now when it comes to the climbing gear, you definitely want to make sure that anything you're going to get is going to be from a, a reputable, reputable arborist supply company. Um, this is your life, so you definitely want to make sure you get the right rated equipment um, for what you're going to do. So I'll start with the PPE, your personal protective equipment. Good to have safety glasses. Now gloves aren't really a requirement. I do find that the um, gloves with latex are nice to climb on. They are really good in your hand. Um, helmets. This is a less expensive helmet, but it, what is a, a good thing to have is one with a chin strap. Um, here's another version of a helmet. It's a little bit more of an upgraded one, but it also has a chin strap. And they will have all the ratings inside. A good pair of boots with still toes. Those are good. They don't really have to be a climbing boot but at least one that's um, a good heavy-duty work boot now we have um, the saddles are, are a good thing to have so this is a this is a Buckingham 5.0 a real good climbing saddle this one has lots of options it's, it's a little bit more upgraded than some of the other ones here's also a, another saddle but it has a bench style seat um, you know, it's not as high grade as this, but something like this would also work. Um, same thing, you want to make sure it's all rated. A Pressic loop, some people like to foot lock, and something good to have. A Pressic cord or a split tail. The different, you know, either a carabiner, you want to make sure it's going to be a double locking safety carabiner or a clip. That has, you know, they, you want to make sure they got double locking. Sometimes micro pulleys are good to use. Um, when it comes to getting into the tree, you'll have a, a throw bag. That's what this is. So, um, if you want to go up into the tree a little bit higher, having a throw bag is also a good option. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, something like this, tied to a small rope. That's the throw bag. Um, you definitely need a lanyard. So a lanyard is going to be on your hip and it secures you into the tree. Both of them are going to be double locking. Some people have lanyards with carabiners. Actually, we have it here on this side. Now this is a lanyard with carabiners and clips. When it comes to arborist ropes, generally you you'll have either a half inch and you can probably go to 11 millimeter. Um, usually in, in tree care, 11 millimeter to half inch is what, what's in the tray, and that's really what you want to stick to. So yeah, that's what we have for the gear, and you need to know how to inspect. That's important. So everything that's here, um, it could be your life. So you definitely have to know what you're looking for in inspecting the gear. The third subject are basic tree knots. It's important to do or know 
tree knots because in a climbing system you're always going to need tree climbing knots. It's important to know the proper name and what they're used for. This one here is a figure eight. It's a stopper knot. It's used for a uh, stopper for a friction hitch or the running end of your climbing line. This is a clove hitch. It's a good hitch for sending up tools or light rigging. This is a sheet bin. It's a good one to use for sending up a rope to a climber. That's front and the back. This is a bowline. It's a very good knot, one to use as a loop. You can put under a heavy load and it's easy to untie. Also another variation of this one's a running bowline, which is good for rigging. This is a good knot to have bowline. This is an alpine butterfly. It's a midline loop knot. Really good one to know. A lot of times you might need to have a midline loop knot. Um, the front, the back of it. Alpine butterfly. This one is a Klemheis. There's also another one called a Pressic. They're good to, um, if you're going to foot lock in the tree, to know how to use this loop and to tie the proper hitch. The next ones to know are termination knots. This one is a double fisherman's bend. Also there's uh, an anchor hitch and also a bunt line hitch. These are great for termination ends. They're cinching knots and they hold your carabiner steady so they don't slide around. But termination knots are good to know. All of these knots that were just shown, these are really good to research, learn how to tie, and to be able to tie dress and set them in I would say less than a minute. Learn it so it's second nature so you don't you're not fumbling around. That's really important. The fourth subject is a climbing system. Um, there's a couple of different climbing systems out there. The one that you would normally learn on first is a DDRT, which is now called the MRS system, which means the moving rope system. They've also invented another thing called the stationary rope system. That's the SRS system. Now, stationary rope system is more of an advanced system. It's better to learn the moving rope system. What we have here is a moving rope system. It is contained on one rope that goes over a branch and you have a friction hitch and it's an open loop system that requires a stopper knot. So the, the reason it's an open loop system is because this is not one continuous loop. At this point, it could, if, you're, if this slid out, it could fail on you. So this is a moving rope system. Here is the, the next um, MRS system. It's actually a closed hitch system. So what you have here is a hitch cord and it's connected to a carabiner which closes the loop. This will never come undone so you don't need a stopper knot on this. Um, it's another way of climbing with MRS. The fifth subject, press it cords and climbing hitches. This one is a Mitchell Con. It's good to know a few of them. A few other ones that you might look into are Distal, Swabish, and a VT. They're really good um, compact hitches for climbing. So good to know these hitches. The sixth subject, throwing into the tree. There's a few different ways to do it. Um, for throwing in low, um, you can get throw coils, and that's where you get something like this and you throw to lower branches to enter the tree. Or another method is having a shot bag. That's this tied to a thin string, and with something like this, you can throw up to like 60, maybe some people might even hit 80 feet into a tree. So these are throw bags and a throw coil, something that's really um, important to learn to enter the tree. The seventh subject, limb walking and swinging. Once you've entered the tree and now you're inside the tree, you want to get comfortable limb walking. Um, so it's, it's more getting used to the, the feeling of being in the air and the way the weight on your saddle feels. And a good way to help you with limb walking is to do a little bit of swinging and, and swinging not like really far but get to a point where you can like swing from one branch to the next that will help you get used to the limb walking it's really important to do and do take some um, small steps remember that in all of this learning and if you're learning on your own especially low and slow is important 
It do, you don't have to be super high. You can start really low, get used to all the tying, knot tying, and all the different techniques before you really go high. It's really important to do. So personally, the way um, we explain this video from the beginning to end where you start at inspection and work your way through those different categories, I think that's a really good way to map out and how to learn how to get to the point of climbing in a tree. You follow those steps, you research, you go through YouTube, I think you'll find that doing it in that order would help you out greatly. Personally, I do feel that the MRS system is the best way to start, and once you master that, then moving on to SRS would be uh, a great thing to do. Um, I, I wanted to mention also some good um, information to look into. Um, there on YouTube, you got the Climbing Arborist, and also there's another one called the Educated Climber. Those are real good if you're interested in, in tree climbing techniques. There's another guy named Arborist Blair Glenn. He's got a wealth of information of tree care um, tips. A little bit on climbing too, but a lot of um, tree care. Another good resource for me are books. So this is a tree climber's companion. This is like from beginning to end, and it's a real small, compact book, but it has a lot of meat and potatoes in it. It's something that you guys, if you're interested in tree climbing, you'd want to have. This is a real good book, not very expensive. And the ISA book, it's Tree Climbing Knots. This is also one of the great book, really compact and not very expensive. Um, there's a, a couple of um, training programs here in America. I, I don't know if they go everywhere, but there's one called Arbor Master Training, and there's another one called um, Academy Train. Really good programs. Um, they can train you a lot. Um, I think they might be more in the professional level. They're kind of expensive, but I they're well worth it I would I would assume also um, you've got the International Society of Boiler Culture um, that's a good way to find maybe seminars and it's a good way to to learn also the tree care industry they really have a lot of information and they do have some pretty good programs you probably want to look into so there we go a, a road map of learning how to get into the tree and climbing um, everything that we just discussed, all the topics are linked in our description below. You'll want to have a look at that and some of those other resources we mentioned. Um, please share our videos. Uh, if, if people see it, I'm sure that will help them to get into climbing trees. Also, if you could subscribe, that helps us a lot. Like and comment. Make comments. I, I really enjoy having comments and even if you're sharing um, something that you do. Sometimes I, I even learn from those comments and I appreciate that. Alright, we'll see you next time. Take care.